Hello, everyone. It is good to be able to connect with you today. Um, I pray that you all have had a great week and have enjoyed the warm weather that we've had over these last two days. Uh, my family and I was able to get out and enjoy the weather. Uh, we was able to take a walk and get out of the house, just have uh, some good conversations. And I pray that you all have done the same, that you get out and uh, enjoy God's creation as we are doing our best to stay socially distant. Um, we can, during this time, um, draw closer to God. Uh, and we pray that you will use this time. It has been a time of rest for me uh, and my family, a time of recuperation, a time of hearing God's voice more clearly. I'm grateful for it this time and uh, been able to just uh, hear what God wants us to do. Uh, and let it be also the same for you. That you can hear what God wants to do, wants you to do in your life and that you can get more clear uh, direction from him. We, also, we can also um, not only draw closer to God, but we can also draw closer to each other. Uh, we encourage you to stay connected. Stay connected during this time to God and each other and, and to the body of Christ. Uh, it's the enemy's tactics to do his best to isolate us from God and each other so that he can uh, use that isolation to uh, speak death into our lives. But when we come together as believers, we can speak life into one another. We can encourage one another. Uh, we can help each other see where God is in the midst of our tests and our trials. Uh, and one way, one ministry that truly uh, does that is the class meeting. Uh, we encourage you to be a part of that class meeting and connect with uh, your class. Our class leaders have done a phenomenal job in leading their groups. Uh, this ministry is a ministry that where we live life together, um, where we learn how to draw closer to God uh, by hearing each other's struggles and hearing each other's testimonies and how uh, our brothers and sisters have overcome their testimonies and, and how it teaches us to overcome our own testimonies and our own struggles. Um, so we encourage you to be a part of that because when we begin to pray for one another, God truly moves uh, in a mighty way. Uh, speaking of prayer, uh, we encourage you to be a part of prayer every Wednesday, uh, 6 o'clock. We meet via Zoom, uh, and you can get that link um, from your class leader or uh, the emails we send out or through Facebook. We encourage you to be a part of that as we are praying for each other. We're praying for our nation. We're praying for our nation's healing, uh, those who have suffered loss, uh, loss of a job or loss of a loved one. Uh, we're coming together, and we are uh, praying and, and, and so that God will heal our land. The word of God said, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. And we certainly need healing today. So we are coming together every Wednesday uh, to pray together uh, uh, for that healing. Uh, and if you need healing in your life, I encourage you to be a part of that. Uh, speaking of prayer, uh, I want to uh, share with you today a message entitled, The Power of Prayer. Uh, it is a message that encourages us to make prayer a greater priority in our lives. Why? Because prayer is the most powerful weapon that we as believers have in our arsenal. And we encourage you uh, to use prayer, use prayer especially right now, uh, so that our nation needs healing. Uh, we need healing in our families. We need healing in our communities. We need healing in our bodies, uh, those who are suffering. Uh, and prayer is uh, uh, the way in which God, uh, which moves the hand of God. Uh, when, two, when two or three are gathered in his name, he would be in the midst. So we encourage you to hear this message. Um, let it be a blessing to you. And uh, after you've heard the message, we encourage you uh, to respond to the message by making prayer a greater priority in your life. Uh, we also encourage you, once you've heard the message, to give. Um, give our tithes and offering. Give back to God uh, just a portion of all that he has given to us. Uh, the Bible says um, the more you give, the more um, it will be given back to you. So we pray that you use Giveify uh, as 
uh, a means through which uh, you give of your tithes and your offering. You can find that uh, app in your app store and um, find St. Matthew and, and, and give through that means. Uh, certainly miss our times together, uh, saints. Miss our time of worship and gathering, uh, of prayer, and, and we come together. But uh, we thank God that we're able to connect in this way. Uh, and um, and until we're able to meet face to face again, just know that uh, you all are in my prayers. That I'm praying for you uh, daily, and I pray that God will uh, continue to meet each and every one of your needs, and that He will continue to have his face shine upon you and give you rest uh, during this time. Love you all, and I will see you soon. God bless.